Okay, so everything is fine, we can start. So today's topic is uh, 3A big blind versus bottom. The position which is pretty interesting and pretty hard, like we're playing out of position uh, versus pretty, pretty uh, strong range. So in this position, we actually can't um, get uh, plus chips per, per hand. Uh, in the long run, so our our mission is to minimize our loss. So we'll start with with some theory, um, and then we will move to Flopzilla. Then we will move to my my few hands. So um, let's st start with some theory with a theory of three-way big line versus bottom. Uh, so first, uh, this is f some fundamental uh, information from uh, crash test. So uh, first thing is that our opponent holds strong range with high cards. So our opponent holds strong range with card and especially with with jack plus so especially with jack plus so every time we when we see um, one or two broadway cards like jack queen king uh, ace is it's it's this, this board hit our opponent pretty well uh, and all of these uh, boards are bad for us. Uh, and the, the obvious thing for many of us is that the XX uh, are the worst of them. Simply, simply as that, because um, our opponents, almost all of them, open all XXs, suited and offsuit one. Uh, of course, uh, on the bigger stacks like 20 plus, 18 plus, 16 plus, because on the lower, like 14, 10, they jam them. So they don't have many of them. But on the, the higher stack size, they, they have uh, almost all of them. Mm. And second thing is uh, what I said at start. So uh, we play out of position. Which, which this is the fundamental information in poker. Like money always go to the position. So whenever we play, we 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 should try to build bigger pots when we get the position. We can outplay our opponent uh, pretty pretty easy. Uh, so if we play out of position, our our mission is to minimize minimizing losses. So nobody can win actually big blind versus other position because it's all, almost always uh, out of position. In a, of course in in a three way we get position versus small blind. But for example, when we play six max nine max. It's almost always out of position, right? Okay, so um, let let second thing uh, about theory is uh, difference between top crushers and average small spin player. So first, most important thing is. Uh, Average player in smart spin have too tight VP IP. So we got in smart spin charts, but many people don't use them every time. They they got their own theory that maybe oh I'm losing ten times in the row with this low suited cards, so I will stop defending them now. But but this. this Charts are making with big sample of many many players, and 
they they uh, show us the best expectation that we can have. Of course, we read less. So if we got some sample that our button is super aggressive or he got tight range from button, like 20 percent, he opened only 20 percent from button. Of course, we can we can cut some VPIP because it will be super hard to play versus him. But readless, we should play like VPIP from charts. So it's it, it's high. It's tough to play with with so wide range. But we should do this and learn how to how to do this to earn as much as we can. Second thing about it uh, that some of our players isolating non uh, all in with ace axis. And this is problematic because with ace axis, when we isolate hands like ace eight or ace nine, almost never we got equity to borrow. Uh, good boards is only if we hit an ace. And if we hit it, uh, our opponent don't will not pay us off other pairs too often, like uh, for example, three streets or something. So the best move is just if you are out of position, don't be spot, just jam it. Uh, this ace axis and will earn more than do this with with, with chips. Uh, first thing, uh, our players slightly um, to have to be fold versus Tibet. Uh, on mostly on the flop, but also on other streets like on the turn, um, and sometimes we just um, fold these bottom pairs, and almost always we, we should call them uh, on the flop, almost to every sizing. Uh, maybe if we have some reads or the board is really really bad we can fold but most of the time we versus random we just call and this is the best uh, play because we got we might have the best hand we might, we have always five out five outs to two trips or second pair so around 10 percent sometimes he check back so we realize whole equity etc okay so um, so this is small theory, big blind versus the bottom uh, in theory. And now let's move to, to Flopzilla. And let let's check some some interesting some interesting uh, okay. So let let's check this 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 so First thing I I think I should should uh, look at it. Okay, so it's button standard opening range. So most people will this pocket and open. Maybe of course some people little some less. But I think this is this is pretty pretty standard. Uh, maybe a little bit more here or here, like 35, 36 percent. It's like pretty standard standard uh, opening range. Mm, you see, people don't open these offsuit king axis, queen axis, jack well. But we we talk about. Mm, Whole whole population, and um, as you see, most people will open this ace x. So uh, let 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 let's see uh, how it looks uh, also in. I will open Equilab. How many combination of ace x they they have? So wait a second. Oh, so something is wrong with 
Okay, so I will do this. Uh, okay, so it's it's three, six, nine, twelve. Well, okay, so it's 12 divided 16 combination. We got 4 suited and 12 offsuit. So it's like 200 combination of eight axes. And total is like 470 peripheral branch. So as you see, eight axis is the biggest part of the button range. So when we play big blind versus button, we might, must always think where where he got this ace axis. He got in C bet or in check. Then we can try to make them fold by probing or make them call this ace axis because they are the biggest portion of the range with small sizing when we are probing. So let's take a look first when we, for example, ha have hand like 10-9. And the board is ace, uh, ten, like five. So as you see, our opponent got super, super many top pair. It's like thirty-four percent of his range. Of course, he got also like uh, some pocket pairs below top pairs, some middle pairs, some weak pairs. And some gadgets, and only 38% of his range is no mate hand. And on some cards like Jack, Queen, King, many, many of these no mate hands hit the pearl or something. So actually, we should play big blame versus button super, super solid. And, and most of the time, call just on the flop. Realize equity, try to realize equity to the river, uh, make hope that he will not borrow, and just fold on uh, on the turn many, many times on bad cards, especially on ASX board. Because he see that set to per, top per, like many times he will see that poker per below top per, some no made hands and gut shots. So we got really good equity on the flop, but when uh, on the turn is card like queen, now he don't have so many no mate hands, like 20%, and uh, and our equity drastic, drastic drops down, as you see, like versus this top, oh, no mate hands, yeah, 31% on the turn, uh, so on many many turn cards, when we have ASX board, we should just give up. But also it's pretty pretty interesting spot, uh, guys, um, that many 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 people miss uh, because there's some boards that don't hit our opponent pretty well. And this is example from uh, Crash Fest. Uh, this is example, the flop is 764. And I think many people from even higher stakes don't uh, use this strategy, don't remember about this strategy. And I think it, this strategy is perfect because on this board, big line versus bottom on 764, we should actually put to check raise uh, some, for example, two over cards, beca beca especially with backdoor pleasure, uh, because this board don't hit our opponent almost at all. And let, let, let's check it in a flop delay. 764. Uh, okay, so it's 764. Seven six four, and let's see what our opponent actually hit. So he got some top pair with seven x, 
he got some over pairs, like 7% of the range, some sets. Middle pair, weak pair is the super small part of the range. And he got, of course, some flash draws, but as you see, flash draws are never... Some, some people always care about flash draws uh, when, when diamonds come on the turn, etc. But the flash draws actually are the, the really, really small part of our opponent's range. So, so we can always... Even some flash hits the river, we can try to always like make a small value bet. I don't say about bottom big man versus the bottom, but all positions. So you shouldn't be super scared of flashes as you see now in Flopzilla. So as you see now, mm, flash draws, some gut shots. So only 44% of the range hit this board. But many is like gadget without gadgets like thirty percent is flash row or per. So uh, compared to ASX board on uh, or one one uh, this this Jack Plus uh, board, it's a super super good board for us uh, versus uh, bottom. So we should we should try to 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 check with this kind of hand and actually. We won't make fold, fold this type of hands that we are check raising. So when we check raise queen nine, we also won't fold like jack ten, etc. But the reason is that if we just call, the bottom might borrow versus us, and and it's uh, we never actually win this spot. Uh, I mean, maybe not never, but it, it will be much harder. And we, if we check raise and our opponent call, and he, he his range will be really really cut because hands like over pairs or top pairs or I mean these strong ones or um, like strong flash draws, all of them he will jump on the flop. So if we assume that he will jump on the flop all of them. Uh, or m most of them, he, on the turn he will have hands like middle pair, weak pair, and many, if we will use smaller sizing on the flop, he also will have many like ace king, ace queen, ace jack, some with backdoors, etc. Some open enders, etc. So easily we will have opportunity to, to borrow on the turn on good cards and make fold this part of the range. So, this is also really, really important to remember about this kind of spot where actually we have our range from big blind hit uh, much better, this 764, and we should try make some tricks to make fold our opponent from, from this ace axis, etc. Okay, so this was uh, some uh, spot in Flopzilla. We'll probably back to Flopzilla later. Do you guys have any questions? Uh, yeah, so the the good cards to borrow, uh, sorry, the the good cards to borrow uh, are these which complete draws uh, or hit our raising branch. So these smaller cards like under seven, in my opinion, will be perfect because. Our opponent don't have many cards under seven. He don't open many of them, as you see. Like these cards, our opponent don't don't uh, open, so he never got like two pairs on this board or something. So, uh, and we have some gut shots, etc. And these lower cards under seven will uh, will uh, hit our range more. And 
that's why uh, also we can play here um, by raising not super big sizing on the flop to actually give chance our opponent to call this ace high uh, on the flop because he will call them on the flop and fold them on the turn so we will earn more uh, by 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 using smaller sizing uh, and of course, smaller sizing when we raise small, he will always fast play his over pair etc. When he saw super small sizing on a pretty drawy board. Okay. So now, uh, now let let's move to um, to. Okay, I will make bingo. Okay, so first spot I will show you. Okay, so this spot um what is important people in poker focus mainly on um, some tricky place like Making uh, three barrels bluffs, or make huge call downs, or etc. But what is the most important, actually, uh, is to play good also with our value hand. So um, use properly. I mean, what's the most important in poker is that um, people. Some people focus on this big bluff with 9 high or hero call with 10 high but this spot is like one spot per month or one spot per two three months or or something depends on the volume of course and we got everyday life everyday green we got the spots like seabed or opportunity to second bar or opportunity to probe and if we make like Two chips more every C bet because we use better sizing, or we don't lose like, uh, or we earn five chips more when we probe for value and uh, lose five chips less when we probe uh, with bluff because, for example, there is no matter which sizing we will use versus random, it's uh, it's huge difference. So the foundation in poker is more 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 important for sure than uh, than the tricky place so in in my spot today there will be not many like call downs with three barrels with light or something more like um, how to play value how to play, uh, get as much value as we can etc so um, Button, not not much info actually, and pretty standard defense, queen deuce suited, and this is the board king deuce three, and we got the check check on the flop, and what you guys is your play on the turn? I'm looking for some answers. Yeah, and uh, if you bet, what sizing do you use? Okay, so my sizing was 58. Uh, actually, I like this sizing because on the spurred cards on the turn, uh, I think Ace X will call anyway. So let's let's take a look. Do we have the value bet mm, with our hand, which is more most important? So when we decide to bet or check on the on the every street like flop turn on river, 
we should uh, know do we value bet or do we uh, bluff so when we bluff we want to make fold better hands when we value bet we should have more than 50% of equity uh, versus his calling range so the board is uh, king king do three, we got queen, deuce, and it's the king on the turn. So what is important here to not like bet here, even with king, like 100 or something, because we won't make call the biggest por portion of the, his range, so ace x. On this stack size, mm, 16 bb, he might jump some of them, but I'm not sure. Maybe some of like this. He might just open jump. Mm, it's hard. It's hard to say. Uh, but we, yeah, we can we can give some less of this ace access to him, and he will open like better ones on 16 bbs. But I think mm, it's not hard to say. Okay, so on the turn. Of course, uh, I mean on the flop, he will. Most of randoms will will uh, see bet like top pair. I think they will see bet like 80% of the time for sure. And because they just see top pair and they see bet and pocket pair below top pair, also like more often than not they will see bet in my opinion. Uh, on and of course ace highs he might check he might uh, see but for, for sure no mate hands he will more often see but same here so and king on the turn and do we have um, value bet so if we bet pretty small like even 58 on the spirit cards he should call uh, ace axis so he will call three of kind over pair pocket for below top pair and Ace highs and of course flash draws and maybe some gutshots like oh this is ace high so so this is pretty pretty as you see close uh, it's it's also it's because he still have some um, oh wait a second I make something wrong. Oh, okay. So I made that he actually, yeah. That that's why it was a mistake. I think now should be okay. Yeah. So it's it's um, like close spot. Like we got around fifty percent. Uh, but also we we got easier spot, uh, much easier, and we denied some equity like some nomad hands. So so yeah. So this this should be bad for sure. And he just folds, but it's nice that you are betting also. In